What is up YouTube? Welcome back again. It's a buddy Techno Boy and there you can see that's my 2.1 amplifier. Uh, you can see and this thing you have seen before uh, in the in a previous video I was trying to uh, connect this thing uh, to this box but I have done making it uh, right now as you can see as the front side there that's the uh, remote controller sensor right there at the middle and that's the main volume control and that's the base control on the both side like the AV receiver that kind of uh, thing like that this cabinet is very small as this is a electrical switch box so it's it's easy to make any amplifier inside this uh, switch box because you can make hole anywhere and make it as you want uh, except when you need like a heavy cooling system then you need to avoid this thing in metal chassis and cooling fan like that for class ABM as this is a class D amplifier and see everything is uh, on this board all the amplifiers and preamp and the switches and the LEDs you can see and also the Bluetooth is there so if I play the Bluetooth then I cannot control this uh, no the volume control because this is the line in as the air can see is connected to the PC and coming to this socket and from there it's going to this volume control and from there it's going to the input line right there and these are the speaker lines speaker out right there green and blue and uh, in this side as I told you it's a class DM uh, all chips are there and some SMD components are there so it's very hard to find the input line going to the subwoofer uh, amplifier from the low pass filter and connect a volume control there it's very hard it's not uh, possible uh, to do that without uh, special equipments so here I connected a volume control potentiometer at the output to the positive line here you can see as this thing has a very high gain uh, the subwoofer but the wattage is not that much high so this potentiometer can handle that base so that's the one and also one more thing is well, my speakers are there 3 inch woofer right channel left channel and they are having pretty good speaker from switch on a 40 watt but they are having like 4 ohms of impedance and this thing the kit requires 8 ohms of impedance and 6 to 7 ohms like that so I had to connect uh, 4.7 ohm ohms of cement register on uh, both the side of the channel so this way the kit uh, stays safe now as this thing is connected to the PC so I'm gonna turn this thing on and uh, check the sound of it that's the red light is on you can see and to turn this on you need the remote control line in light so now I'm gonna keep my camera right here and gonna check the sound of it right so now let's play some songs and uh, check the sound of it Well, that's the sound very clear and uh, you get the surround kind of effect from the front speakers and now let's turn the bass on and uh, check the sound with all of it
Mm-hmm.